10 years ago, this would have been sci-fi. So for under $1,000, you can get yourself a 15 millimeter 256 to 512 resolution that is powered off USB-C. So that means this is being powered off whatever device it's plugged into. It has no internal battery. That is massive. This is actual sci-fi. 2025 thermal technology has come extremely far and Thermal Master has knocked it out of the park with something like this. So I was really impressed with just the powerfulness of this thermal. It's the world's smallest thermal inocular, but just how powerful it is. I'm using red hot tracking here. Now I'm usually only using black hot or white hot. I don't really use red hot that often because the usually thermals are built to not pick up the heat difference well, it's just the heat outline. Well this, it is picking up every little red to orange to yellow glowing spot. It is unbelievable. I think this would be the best for someone who's tracking deer. If you have down game, this is perfect for you. You don't have to get down on your knees or on your belly to scan in the grass. You can bend the screen and just tilt it over. It's real fast, the hertz is unbelievable. My favorite benefit of this is when I was walking around, I didn't trip. So a lot of times you're scanning with a monocular, you're looking through one eye and it's pitch black out and you're stepping everywhere, you're tripping on everything. This you're using two hands, you can adjust the screen brightness, no issue. Now putting it on a gun, this is where it was the easiest thing. It's two screws, just pop it off the handheld, pop it right on the gun, it's a small little footprint. The best part is the screen's the biggest thing. So you're looking through the screen, it has a bunch of screen space. You can double tap it to get rid of all the options on the outside and just leave the uh, crosshair on the screen. The crosshair is super easy to sight in. I'd recommend using hot hands. It's cheap. You just put them put up on a fence post or put it up on a target. You got a nice square to sight it in on. This thing impressed me because it's so low to the Picatinny rails that I thought I was going to end up picking up suppressor heat, and it did not. I went through about 30 rounds, and it's not, I mean, it's not going to make it too hot, but it's definitely going to change the detection. No notice here, no changes. And that's a really big bonus for how small it is and how you know compact the little unit is. So just overall, this thing's incredible. I mean, if you're gonna use it for hunting, it's it's gonna do its job. If you're gonna use it for scanning, it's gonna more and do its job. This thing is just incredible.